Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to the new peoples. Hey to the old peoples. You know, I've been here from 2017 times. Today, darling, we're doing something fun. We're always doing something fun, are we not? Today, we're doing another wide fit shoe haul. I've done one of these before. I'll link it on the screen right now. When I tried out Simi shoes, I really like their collection. Today, I want to try out Public Desire's collection because they've just launched a wide fit range. Um, but I didn't feel like I had enough. So I got a couple pieces from Simi shoes as well because they had released some new styles, you know. All good vibes over here, babe. I've already tried these shoes on. And there is gonna be a lot to say. <sighs> Let me tell you that. But before we get into the shoes and the heels and my big foot, <laughs> today's video is very kindly sponsored by Shop Tagger. If you've never heard of Shop Tagger, I've worked with them a bunch of times before. They are basically an app and an add-on for your browser that helps you shop smart. There is various different parts of the app and the add-on to your browser. So you can basically make lists and save things into lists if you're going on holiday, if you know, you wanna put all your shoes together, if you're sh shoe shopping, let me just put all these in one place so then I can look at, reevaluate the situation and decide what I want. They tell you when something comes back in stock in your size, when something goes on sale, you can get notifications when it's low on stock, all kinds of things like that. I have a bunch of different lists for different things. So, you know, I say this every video, but homewares, I have like my own little, if I'm going on holiday, it's just very useful to keep everything in one. If you're a compulsive shopper like me, you like to favorite things on websites to try and stop you from buying it. This is a good place to keep it all. They also have a coupon section, so when you're shopping online, this little man, will, and this little man, it's like a little monster. It's really cute, actually. He pops into the screen and he's like, check for coupons, and usually you can save a good amount of money. They always find the best coupons for you. You don't have to troll the internet for them, and it'll immediately take it off at checkout. They also have a new cashback feature, so when you shop with selected partners, you can earn cashback on your purchases and get paid through PayPal, which is amazing. It's completely free. You can download it on the Google Chrome web store or download it on the app store on your phone. And it's just amazing. I've been using it for a very long time and I love them. So thank you so much to ShopTiger for sponsoring this video. And let's get into the shoes because much to unpack, much to discuss. I literally unpacked this order right before I started filming this to film the cutaways of me trying on the shoes so that I can show you guys how it feels on the foot, you know, how it looks, my thoughts on the shoes, X, Y, Z. Tell me why, <laughs> tell me why I go to try on, you know, every shoe and none of them fit. So I got five pairs of shoes from Public Desire, only one pair fits and it's uncomfortable at best. I guess I'm gonna talk you through the ones that didn't fit first, cause they're all public desire, there's four pairs. And I'm gonna tell you why they didn't fit. Um, it's kind of a fail, like I'm kind of upset. I wanted to try all the shoes on. There is four pair, no, three pairs that I'm gonna try on. Two are from Simi and one is public desire. Other than that, mm, I'd have to talk you through it, babe. First of all, we have this pair. These are, these are the Emily, Emily, with an I, Emily. Uh, shoes and this is what they look like they're just a mule you know this is very in style at the moment we love to see it well we don't love to see it because I don't even fit on my fat foot this is what's getting me aggy right I don't particularly think I have giant alligator feet like they're wide let's let's not get it twisted they're wide probably wider than the average I'm a big girl big foot when you're slapping wide fit on your collection range it better at least half fit me do you know what I mean? Like, if it's not gonna fit me, at least half fit me. These are even half fit. <sighs> so these are just like a black pair of mules. Um, they have quite a big area here. So when I tried these on, they didn't fit. I thought, that's fine because it's so big here and obviously such a big bit of material, like fake leather, to go over your foot, especially when you have wide feet, kind of mules they're not really your friend, they don't really fit properly. So I wasn't that shocked when these didn't, f look at, can you imagine if they were my actual feet? I wasn't that shocked when these didn't fit because obviously it's quite big here. It's nice and squared off on the toe. Nice, small, small heel. Um, so they wouldn't hurt too much, but yeah, it don't fit. 
By the way, I think most of the shoes come with the little spares that you can put. If you ever lose like the bottom of your heel, you can whack them on there. Then I also got another pair of mules. These are different though because these are like a smaller kind of style here. So I thought they're more like likely to fit. I have a pair just like this from ASOS Wide Fit and they fit perfectly. Granted, they feel like my feet are on fire. They're not comfy, but they fit. And they fit nice and com- Do you fucking mind rising your car up the estate? The pair from ASOS, they fit comfortably. They're not pinching me or anything. They're actually really nice. Um, I'll link them down below if they're still in stock. So these pretty much look the same as the ones I have from ASOS, but these don't fit. Um, I, I think I did a little cut away and I'll show you why they don't fit. They're just too tight, like on, on here. These are supposed to be wide fit. I'm getting a bit baffled. So that's how it would fit. Again, same, it's pretty much the same shoe, just with the different, you know, less material here. I'm disappointed. Like, come on, there was so much. We were rooting for you. We we're all rooting for you. Next pair. Oh, I was really excited about these. And they don't fit. Like I couldn't even get my foot through this babe. Anyway, so these are lilac, lavender, beautiful square toed mules, but they have diamantes. So this would sit on your foot like this. Like how beautiful would they have been? Ah, oh, you're walking, bling, 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 bling. You know what I mean? They're beautiful. So it's like a, it's kind of like a perspexy kind of plasticky material here. Then obviously like the little diamantes on the top. And again here, this bit, no chance in hell that was getting over my foot. I'm even like low key struggling to put it over my hand. So how was my foot going to fit over that? The funny thing is I put it on my foot like that and this bit is very comfortable, very tight. Cause you know, sometimes on the toes it can kind of hurt a little bit, but that was comfortable. It's just this, no, no. And I think they do this in a lot of colors as well. I love the square toe, very on trend, very beautiful, but you should know from me. Lastly, of the shoes that don't fit, we had these. So again, beautiful shoes. Beautiful shoes, they're another mule. I think there's a theme here. I would have got other shoes, but I, they pretty much only had like mule kind of shoes. There wasn't any other kind of heels, obviously, because they're really on trend right now. And it's funny because nowhere's really doing them for plus size, plus size, for wide fit, because it is difficult to do a mule. Well, it's not actually, let me not chat shit. It's not difficult. Just put more material on it. Anyway, that, these are the shoe. You know, I love a chunky heel. I love this chunky heel. Make it so easy and comfy to walk in. I love the color, but no way. No, oh, no way was this getting over my foot. I think what could have helped is like, they could have put some elastic here, you know, on the sides to like give it a bit more size, but it's literally just the strap like, and it has, obviously it's not stretchy. So that was never ever in a million years gonna fit. I mean, it's beautiful, like your foot goes there and then it would be like this. They're just, they're not in any way like wide enough. Just, I don't know, like it looks wide here, but like it's the straps for me. It's not the actual shoe. I feel like the shoe is wide enough. It's all the straps. The straps are all too small. Yeah, it's not the actual like, where the foot is that looks pretty wide to me. It's just all the straps are not Cooperating Okay, now all of that is out of the way now all of that is out of the way We can actually move on to the three pairs of shoes that did fit so from public desire The only shoes that did fit me were these ones I mean, I don't think I'm gonna keep them because they're uncomfortable But these were my favorite ones when I was ordering so these are the Annika shoes and this is what they look like this is them right here again with the square toe we have a theme here so what it is is like a flip-flop <laughs> this is like a flip-flop here so that goes in between your toes this goes over the top of your toes and this comes around the back like this very 90s i love this style i think it's beautiful there's no one doing these for plus size i keep saying plus size but wide fit you know because big girls we have big feet too now this does have a little bit of elastic so i knew you could do a public desire okay you have the facilities this does have a bit of i mean it's not on both sides it's only on one side so that makes sense as to why it was a bit tight anyway i really like them 
I think they're beautiful. I mean, I don't particularly think they look the best on my feet because again, they are a little bit tight. Um, the color definitely doesn't really go my skin tone either. They'd probably be better in black or white. But what I found uncomfortable was this bit here in right in between your toes. So because they were quite tight, I felt like my foot was like too big for the shoe, like it was like kind of hanging off. And so when it, when it came to bringing this around the back, it did fit, but because I had to pull it quite tight, like it, it didn't go over easy, then in between my toes was compensated. It was hurting, it was like pulling up against my toes. So like when I was walking, it just hurt. Um, it might be different for you if, you know, they fit you a bit better if they're a bit bigger on you, but if these are tight, they're not going to be comfortable in the slightest. Um, and I obviously can't get a size bigger because nine is like the biggest size. So maybe you would want to size up in these if you're going to get these. Maybe I'm just being finicky. I don't know. I love the style. I think they're stunning. I think they're beautiful. I think they're gorgeous. They're just not that comfortable. So it's more like a, a dinner shoe, you know. Again, the heel, the heel is comfy because it's so small. It's like that little mule, little kitten heel. But these are like a dinner shoe. Like we're going to walk from the car into the restaurant to sit down at the dinner table to stand up at the end of the meal to go back to the car. That's the amount of walking you want to do in these. So that's kind of sad. But all these shoes that I got from Public Desire are going to go back. And I'm kind of gutted because, I mean, I had high hopes. Not high hopes, but I just thought they'd at least fit. So yeah, I guess for me, I don't, I personally would never buy them again. Um, maybe you don't have as wide as feet as me, but I don't particularly think my feet are ginormously wide, but they're definitely on the wider side of the wide fit, if you know what I mean. Like not all wide fit shoes fit me, but yeah, I mean, I can still fit lots of trainers just fine and other shoes. So I think public desire just need to, you know, work on it a bit more get some more input. If you ever need me to help you public desire, I'm here with open arms. I'll come and help you, I'll consult for you, I'll tell you what you need to do for the wide foot gal. Um, you know, my emails, my emails down there, hit me up. So, I was also browsing Simi Shoes recently and you know, I did a haul on that a few, like last year sometime, end of last year. So, I just thought I'd get some more because I had seen that they'd, they had like dropped loads of new styles and I've not tried any of them since last year and I do really like them, but obviously I've not been going anywhere. I didn't need to buy heels. Heels in a pandemic to sit in my living room. I got these. So, it's the same style. I just got the same style in two colors. Um, it is the Jada shoes. They're like a snake print. Anyway, sorry, I'm chatting shit. These are what they look like. <laughs> this is them. Ah. Okay, I do thoroughly enjoy these. I don't think I have a pair of white shoes, like heels. I don't own a pair, because I ruin everything that's white. But I really like these with a tan. Oh my God, I'm gonna fake tan tonight. It's gonna be gorgeous. This is what they look like. Again, with the kitten heel, we've got a theme. Again, with the mule. It's what's in style, honey. So this is them. The heel is very short, probably like four, four inches maybe. But, you know, I love about these shoes. It has the big square tip. So when it goes from stiletto to big, it makes them very comfortable. Because when you think about it, your whole weight of your foot is on, instead of it being on a stiletto tip, it's on this bigger size, if you can see. So it's almost like your heel is that thick, even though it's not, your heel is thin. Do you get what I'm saying? It's comfortable. It's more comfortable than wearing a stiletto. I can wear a kind of, this kind of height of stiletto and be okay, but this is comfy. I mean, well, let's not, let's not front. It's not comfy, but it doesn't start hurting for at least a couple hours. You know what I mean? So these shoes, again, just go over the top of your foot. I'm not gonna lie, this bit here is a little bit tight on me, but this bit here is completely fine, comfy. Like I said, I do have like a, quite a wide top of my foot. Um, these ones were fine, but the black pair on here, on the big toe bit, they were a tiny bit tight, but they did fit me fine. Once I got them on, they were all good. I do have a really big, big toe. But yeah, I really like them. Again, I think the sizing on Simi Shoes wide fit range is very good. Um, you obviously saw it in, my last, in the video that I did last time. They just have it thought out properly. And I was, I mean, I was surprised then and I'm still surprised now. I shouldn't be surprised, it should just be the norm, but I am impressed by them. I really like Simi Shoes um, heels, shoes, wide fit range. 100% I'd buy them again. So that is them in white. And this is them in black, you can't really see, but again, it's like that snake print. Yeah, 
I just think they're beautiful. This is what they look like. They are a shoe that will go with everything, especially like for a night out. They're not too big, you know, they have that little square on the bottom, so it's gonna be more comfy. They'll go with everything. I really like them. So as always, everything will be listed down below in the description box if you wanna buy any of them, if you wanna check it out. I really hope that, you know, Public Desire do a little bit more work on the wide fit range, so then I'll try it again in the future and it'll hopefully be better. I know this video was a little bit short and sweet, but obviously we didn't have that many to try on since they didn't fit. But I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Thank you so much to Shop Tagger for sponsoring today's video and I will see you very, very soon with a new one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.